Hi there, it's Julie DiMatteo with ThePaperPixie.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this adorable money envelope using the envelope punch board. So let's go ahead and get started. First, before I created the project, I knew that I wanted an envelope to hold money or a check. So I measured the size of a dollar bill and it measures approximately six and one eighth by two and five eighths. And using an app called the Envelope Generator, I entered those measurements in and the result provided me with the size of cardstock I needed to start with, as well as the starting score line on the envelope punch board. So given those measurements, the Envelope Generator app told me to use a piece of cardstock that measures seven and three eighths by seven and three eighths. And we are going to, using the envelope punch board, make our first score line at the five inch mark. So we're gonna punch and score, the five, lining this left edge at the five inch mark. Then I'm then gonna rotate counterclockwise and using this score guide, I'm gonna line that up with the score line we just made. Punch and score. We don't need to remember any other measurements. We just rotate, line up the score guide with that last score line we made, punch and score. And then the final side, punch and score. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fold and burnish on all the score lines we just made. And you'll notice that these two sides of the envelope are just a little bit too long. So a trick is to fold in these side flaps of the envelope and fold in, we're gonna start with this one side. We're gonna just make little pencil marks at the intersection of this big flap to the two slot side flaps. We're gonna do that on both sides. And that's just gonna give us little marks to, where, to show us where we need to cut on the Stampin' Trimmer. So lining up those little pencil marks in the cutting groove, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off that extra cardstock. Now before we put our project together, we're gonna add some polka dots to this. I'm just gonna bring in my grid paper so I don't make a mess. And we're gonna use a sponge dauber, which comes in a pack of five. And this is crushed curry cardstock. So we're gonna use crushed curry ink. And I'm just picking up ink on my sponge dauber and stamping that down. It's gonna give me kind of a perfect polka dot circle. And I'm just randomly adding polka dots all around the envelope. Now that those polka dots are done, can go ahead and put our envelope together. And I'm just gonna add adhesive on these diagonal sides right here. And I'm gonna use Fast Fuse. There we go. Fold in those side flaps and fold the bottom flap down. We're gonna go ahead and add the money. And then we're gonna create a simple belly band. I have a piece of basic black cardstock that measures one and a quarter by six and a half. And we're just gonna loosely wrap that around the envelope so that it'll slide on and off easily. Just gonna add a little bit of fast fuse here. All right, so there's the belly band. We're gonna dress this up and actually create a bow using the envelope punch board. This is so cool, another incredible use for the envelope punch board. So this piece of designer series paper comes from Pick a Pattern. Here's the swatch book of what that set of designer series paper looks like. It is beautiful, a beautiful set of colors. And we're using the back side of this first pattern, the stripes, which are crushed curry, basic black, and whisper white. And this piece measures one inch by seven inches. And we're gonna first make a punch at the three and a half inch mark punch and I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side, three and a half. I'm then also going to make a punch at one and a half, flip it over 
and one and a half. And the same thing on the other side, one and a half. Starting to look like a bow tie here. And then we're gonna add some of the flagged ends. And you just do that simply by centering this in the middle of that punch. And then you get that awesome flagged end or banner end. There we go. All right, so now using my bone folder, you can use a pencil or something like that. We're just gonna slowly curl these two middle sections of the bow. And then what I'm gonna do is add a glue dot, two glue dots real quick. So the first glue dot's gonna go right here and I'm actually going to fold this end back on itself. Okay, it's gonna look funny, but you'll see it come together here momentarily. And again, a glue dot there just to fold this back on itself and hold it in place. Okay, then two more glue dots. We're gonna put that on the back side of the bow here. Whoops. and on the other side, okay? Now what we're gonna do is meet this end to the center of that bow, and you'll see that the punches line up. So I am lining up this curve with all the layers of paper. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. And voila, look at that adorable bow. Now one thing you can do to finish this off is use a quarter inch strip of paper to wrap that around the center. But for this project, I'm gonna use one of our clear faceted gems. I'm just gonna add that right to the center there. We're gonna add this to our belly band using Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm using two of the regular size ones on the either side of the loops and then one mini dimensional right in the center of that bow. I'm just gonna pop that right on the envelope there. All right, and now we're gonna add our happy birthday sentiment. So I'm gonna bring out a piece of basic black cardstock that measures three and a half by three inches. And I measured that to fit the happy birthday thinlets die we're gonna use. And these are the new multi-purpose adhesive sheets that we're gonna to adhere to this basic black cardstock so that our die cut becomes a sticker for lack of a better term. Makes it really easy to adhere to your project without a bunch of glue oozing out. So just pe we're peeling off the backing that has the black letters on it. And I'm just gonna adhere that to our piece of basic black. I'm gonna bring in the Big Shot. And I've got the Happy Birthday Thinlets die. My sandwich here is the Magnetic Platform, the Precision Base Plate. I'm putting the cardstock adhesive side down and I'm gonna add my die. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the top cutting plate and run that through the Big Shot. I'm gonna do that back and forth. Now that the die cut is all ready to go, we're just gonna pull off that adhesive backing and the whole back side of this die cut is now covered in adhesive. That's amazing. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and adhere that at a slight angle so that that happy birthday fits perfectly on the envelope. And just press it down is all you need to do once you've used that multi-purpose adhesive sheet. Now we're just gonna add a little bit of sparkle to it using the clear wink of Stella. And I'm just gonna pick some random polka dots that I will add some sparkle to. And we're done. That is a money holder using the envelope punch board. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching today's video tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you visit me at thepaperpixie.com where I post projects 
every weekday for your inspiration. Thanks again for watching. You have a wonderful and blessed day. Take care. Bye.